Hey everybody, it's Maggie Marlowe here and we're going to do another Paint with Maggie episode. Uh, today we are going to be doing the uh, Gnome Christmas painting. Uh, it's kind of a original painting I did for uh, the Christmas season. So this is going to be the last uh, Paint with Maggie episode for 2023. Um, it's a very easy painting. Um, if you are new to the channel or if you're new to my website, this is a Kind of like a very easy beginner painting uh, videos that I like to kind of put out so then that way if I ever put on any other um, more advanced classes um, you'll be having a little bit more experience um, kind of taking on those more advanced classes and also too this community has given me a lot over the years so I just wanted to give a give back uh, for something very easy and fun to do with the whole family or by yourself or with a group of friends. Uh, so the idea is, even though if you are not here live with me today, that the lessons are going to be available free on my website so that you can paint, pause, and play along at your leisure at any time you wish. Um, so we are going to flip you over right away here, and we are going to get right into um the painting and the supplies. All right, so let's flip you over. So for brushes, just as always, if you're ever painting along with me, I only ever use about five of the brushes. So we have the one inch wide brush. We have the half inch angle brush. We have the number four round brush. Um, possibly may use this time. I have a three eighths flat. I kind of feel like I might need it. So I am going to go grab him and I'll show you what he looks like. This is a number one or number zero liner brush. And this is the, um, just the smaller of the flat brush. It's identical to this one. It's just a half inch or sorry, three eighths. So you can see it's quite a bit smaller. Okay, so that is the paint brushes. Of course, you're going to need a jar of water. Uh, I have a palette here for uh, mixing my paint. Uh, you can use whatever you need to. Also a blow dryer, just in case you need things to dry a little bit quicker. And then of course our canvas, this is a 12 by 16 canvas. I decided to go a little bit smaller for this class today. Uh, if you are using a bigger canvas, obviously you're just going to adapt everything to just um, your, uh, to your canvas here. Four the paint colors uh you're going to need white and black just basic mixing colors uh you are also going to need this is the burnt umber or like a reddish brown uh and then we have the three primary colors as well so we have the brilliant yellow brilliant red and brilliant blue these are all by artist locked and they're all primary colors uh, just for very easy basic beginner um, color mixing all right and then you want to get out the first colors that we're going to use you're not going to use red um, or yellow that much in the beginning of this painting so we're going to start off with the sky and the background. So we're going to use a little bit of blue and then some black, some white, a little bit of black. It's really too much, but that's okay. It just kind of comes out. And white. Okay, so let's just start by kind of painting in. Um, our sky is going to go from dark to light, so we're going to start with light, kind of in about the lower middle half here. We're going to kind of work a lighter blue, and then we're going to add a little bit more pure blue into it, and then a little bit more black towards we go when we get towards the top, just to kind of darken it a little bit. So get your big wide brush into the water, get it out, tap off um, the extra water on your rag, and we're going to start off by mixing 
the white and the blue first. We're gonna make a really kind of darker blue sky. So we wanna go a little bit darker because we want those that sky to look a little dark. Throw in a little bit of black in there. Just be very careful. I had a couple drops in there that were already existing. So just kind of be careful. That's pretty good. You want kind of like this dusky, dusky color. So you can see how it's just not like quite bright. So we're gonna come down here. Notice I turn my brush to the side. That's just so that way I can get this nice crisp edge. I'm gonna come down a little bit lower. That's a little bit better. So somewhere down in here, and then you can see I kind of turn, once I get that in there, I'll turn my brush to the side and just kind of really get that paint in there. They're kind of really pushing that brush. You can see I'm pushing in deeply and getting that paint into all of those canvas, all the little, these little marks, these little edges little holes. All right, so let's add a little bit more blue in here. Gonna get a little bit darker. I've picked up a little bit more black in there off of my brush, but that's okay. So you can start doing like these little crosses. And then you can kind of work these crosses down into this lighter color in here. Be aggressive, kind of like really work it. And then once you get it worked in, you can kind of go full brush strokes all the way across. I'll just soften it all out, okay? All right, so as you can see, we're getting a little darker. Let's get a little darker yet. Um, my brush is getting a little dry. I'm just gonna kind of get it into the water. Kind of get it all off some of the water, go back in here, get a little bit more of this blue. Let's throw a little bit more of this black in there. Just add a little color at a time if you're a little worried about it going a little too crazy. A little bit at a time is okay. All right, so the reason why I'm starting up here is because if it's too close to the same color, I can kind of darken it up a bit. So this look is this is looking pretty good. So again, we're doing the X's and then work the X's down into that, that little layer that was there. Kind of get it really in there, get that brush working. Okay, now do the full brush strokes. Really soften it out. All right, that looks good. All right, last. Last but not least, we're gonna add again, more blue. This is almost a whole pile of whatever's left. Add a little bit more black in there. We want it quite dark towards the top. All right, and now we're gonna work that back in. And again, those nice soft brush strokes. Kind of keep breaking it down. When I when I do the brush strokes, I change it from being really hard to like really light, very just kind of like moving the paint across from each other. All right. Now clean your brush out really, really well. Now we're going to kind of make this little back snow drift. We want we're gonna put some trees back in here. So we're going to start adding some snow in. Oh, my brush is probably a little dirty. I'm adding a little bit more white into this here. It looks like this is that sky color. So I'm just going to kind of decide, and it's OK if it mixes in. So I'm turning my brush to the side. Okay, so just made a little snow dust. Just turn your brush to the side, give a little whoop de woo. If that paint color mixes in, that's okay. Just let it happen. It's gonna make some pretty things. Okay, go back. Let's go on this side. Let's do another little 
Hill. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna just pick up a little bit more white over here. Just kind of hit this part with a bit more, just a bit more white in there. It's a nice way to kind of soften it out. Now, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna get a lot more white. Even if my brush is dirty, that's okay. But you can see I'm just kind of picking up mostly white. Don't clean your brush out. You do want some of that darker blue color in there. Okay. See how I'm just kind of letting that, that part happen. That is kind of what you're looking for. We want to make it look like We've got these like snow tracks. See how that made that line right there? That's kind of like automatic little snow marks for that little sled to sit on. All right, so we do, we can do a, a few more things while we're letting it dry. So I didn't do this in the original, but I am gonna do it now. Um, I didn't do a uh, moon and stars the last time. So um, I've added it pre um, in other paint classes and I, I do wanna do it again because I like the effects of it. It looks better. So um, we are going to use a different brush that I haven't had before, but it's a toothbrush. This is just an old standard bristle brush. Um, and we're going to do some stars. This is kind of like uh, one of my favorite little star techniques or snow. It works for both. Uh, so you're going to take your toothbrush and just kind of get it into the water. And then you're going to kind of like scrub it into the paint that's already here. And oh, don't do black. Black is not pretty. So let's just go back over here. Don't do black. So you can see I'm just kind of like scratching it in, but you can see like the paint is really thinned out a fair bit. It's not really thick, gobby paint. So just make it sure it's like thinned out a bit. You can see like it's kind of loaded up there on the brush. And then you're just going to like hold it like a shotgun. So hold it in your hand like this, and then you're gonna use your, your, your thumb to kind of brush along the bristles and you're going to create some starts. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. Let's go right here. Okay, maybe out this way again. So the closer you go, the more they're going to look like kind of like constellations and the farther back you go, they're just gonna be a little, little bit more sprayed out. Okay, so that could be like moon, stars, snow, whatever. So we're just gonna let people figure out what that is. I probably got a little bit more like snow than stars. So let's do, let's do a moon now. So I'm just gonna grab a different round brush that was kind of having, kind of get a little shaggy, probably needs to get cleaned. All right, so we're just gonna grab some um, paints, white paints. And let's just pick where we want our moon. So I'm gonna go right here. Just do a circle. If you're not feeling confident about painting your own circle, you can use a, um, Oh, the paint is not dry underneath, so that's why it's lifting. We're just gonna let it fill in and I'm gonna let it dry. So if your paint is lifting like that, that means your under layer is not dry. Um, but what I was saying is if uh, you don't feel confident on doing a circle yourself, uh, you could definitely do a circular object trace around it and then paint it in. Okay, I just made my moon a little bit bigger. That's better. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna let that kind of dry while I move on. So again, just waiting for certain areas to dry. It's really dry in here today, so it shouldn't take too long at all. Um, so we are gonna work on our pine trees now. Um, I'm going to zoom in for you guys. I'm gonna be using the angle brush here. It's one of my favorite brushes for doing pine trees. Um, the action that I'm using, I go really, really quickly. Uh, so the nice part is, is I have a lot of trees to do. So um, I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna try and go as slow as I can on one. And um, I'll just keep it zoomed in on the next few, just so that way you kind of can kind of get an idea of how that movement works. Um, I'm just gonna load up a bit more blue paint on here. All right. So let's uh, take our angle brush. We're gonna mix up some of that blue paint and we want to add a little bit of black into it. We want really dark blue, not black, but really dark blue. So be very careful with that black. All right, so let's zoom in here. All right, so we're going to, we're gonna do a line to kind of give us our base for our tree. So I'm gonna start over here. So I'm gonna give us a line. That's our trunk of our tree. Okay, don't worry about going, don't worry about it being perfect, okay? So instead of holding the paintbrush like this, this is how you would normally hold the angle paintbrush. And you would kind of like use it as a pencil and you kind of use the angle to your benefit. Well, we are, but we're gonna do it opposite. We're gonna turn it upside down and we're gonna use this kind of point to um, kind of push and tap the brushes. So I'm gonna kind of like tap like that, but then you're also gonna see me kind of like go like that. You're gonna see me go on that side and that side of the, of the trunk of the tree. And that's gonna kind of flare these bristles out and it's going to kind of make um, these branches of the tree. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna zoom in as much as I can. That might be it, okay. All right, this is as close as I can get you. So we are going to, just got a little too much paint on my brush here. So I'm gonna tap above. So I'm gonna go kind of like tap, 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 kind of making little points, okay. And you see, I'm just kind of working from one side to the other. I'm just really concentrating on just that point. Um, it's getting a little like I don't have enough paint on my brush, so I'm just going back, picking up some more paint. And you can go all the way down if you like. And then all you need to do is just pick up some more of like that darker color. And then you can just kind of come in here and just make some areas a little bit darker. Cause you don't really want, you want some areas dark and some areas light. So then that way it kind of looks like that. Now let's do another one. Okay, so we're gonna do another line down. Let's make this guy a little shorter. Okay, let's do a shorter one here. Okay. Start just above, because there's always like a tree branch that's like the top part of the tree trunk, right? So just keep working your way down. And then I just kind of like look to see where any spots need a little loving. I'll just go back and do a little tap. Okay. Let's do some more. Got a bit more to do. Um, let's put this guy a little bit. Let's do another little guy over here. Just a baby. Okay.
Okay, and then let's do maybe, um, I haven't done this before, but let's maybe pull one a little bit farther down here. Let's put it down in the snow. Let's make him a little bit taller. Notice now when I get up to a bigger tree, I'm like now turning my brush to the side. Okay. Just work from one side to the other so then that way they don't get to looking like they're one side and then you gotta go to the other side and it looks a little strange. That looks pretty good. Let's put another one back here. Okay. Uh, let's do a big one over on this side now. Okay, I'm gonna just turn you that way. So kind of get the idea, just make sure you start above where that branch is. Let's maybe make this guy a little bit closer. So start up above. So you can see I'm just doing the little taps now. And then when I get to the point where I need to kind of like get that distance from the brush or like the length to kind of fill it in, I'll turn it over to the side. And then just keep working that brush. Maybe this guy's a little bit of a fatter tree. And I just kind of made him a little bit extra fat down on the bottom. So I'm just kind of like filling him in a little bit more towards the top here. See how like he's just looking a little off center. So you just kind of keep playing with it. Just kind of fill it in. That's looking pretty okay. All right. Just got a few more left. Let's put... Let's put another one, oh, little guy, maybe a medium guy right here. He's kind of tucked in. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna put a little guy back in here, just a little, make him look like he's farther away maybe. Or maybe he's just smaller. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, um, I'm gonna come back to my moon here and I'm just gonna fill in a little bit more white. All right, let's fix this little spot up right there.
All right, that's pretty good. So now we um, really don't have much left to do. We have our little gnome and we have our little sled and we'll probably put a little bit more detail onto these trees, but we really let, need to let the trees kind of like do their thing. Uh, so we're gonna work on this lead right here because uh, I need this tree to dry before I can do my gnome. So I'm gonna need some brown paint. Well, it comes out. There you go. Okay. So we are going to make a candy cane, but it's laying flat. So the candy cane ski, so it's gonna go like this and then kind of curve up. Now there is only gonna be like one like runner that you're gonna see. And then there's gonna be like two little slats that go this way. And then there's also gonna be a flat slat. Um, and that is, oops, let's see. You guys were all like not the right spot. There we go, there we go, that's better. Um, so there'll be like the bed that the um, tree is gonna sit on and then the runner and then the two little frame pieces that it sits on. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a darker brown. I'm gonna mix in some black with that ready brown already, just so it's a little bit darker. Okay. So let's just kind of make that runner. Try and keep it as straight as possible. You can make your sled however big you like. Okay, that's looking pretty good. All right, and then let's just add the little hook candy cane piece on. So it's just like a C. I'm just gonna connect a C to the stick. So we're gonna do a C. All right, there, that was super easy, right? Just keep making sure you're doing nice and slow. Take your time. All right, that's looking pretty good. So now the next easy part is to just do like the base that the tree is gonna set on. So let's just kind of make him a little bit up here. Close enough. Uh, if you're ever finding that your brush is not making like really nice clean lines, it could mean that your brush is like a little shaggy and you might need to go back to the water or it could mean you don't have enough water in your paint to kind of get that paint flowing along nicely. All right, that's pretty good. Just see how like I just took my time, make sure everything looks good. Okay, so now let's make the frame. So we're gonna do a little cross piece here. Little cross piece there, All right? And then, 
going to make this runner just a little bit longer. Okay, and then I'm going to do the next cross piece this way. Okay, decent. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now we're going to kind of come back to our trees and we're going to add a little bit of snow on top of them. So we're just going to take your round brush. You're just going to take some white paint. It's okay if it's not, um, I, I like the fact that it's not like perfectly white. I like that the fact that there's a little bit of light blue in there. And you're just going to decide, I'm going to work on this side to that side. So I don't drag my hand through white paint. And you're just going to add some snow. Make sure you leave some dark pieces. And the snow always sits on the top of the branch. So make sure that the dark is always on the bottom of where you put the white. As long as you have some dark in there, you kind of get a little floofy with the snow. It's a little bit forgiving. So even if you kind of weren't really happy with your tree before, you can kind of pile on that snow. And just making sure you're putting it on the top of the branches. I still again work from like one side of the tree to the other side. Try not to work into like doing one side all first and the other side all first. Try to make sure you're looking at the tree and making sure that it looks balanced. That looks really nice. Okay, let's do this one. can see like I kind of made a mistake on this one where I like got a little too much maybe like a little too much snow on him so I'm just going to kind of compensate for that and make it look like he's got a little bit more snow than some of the other ones you know there's always just that one tree out there right you know he's just got a little bit more so going really fast the kind of like the way you kind of more like pulse your hand and just move it really kind of like don't really overthink about it more natural it's going to look okay it's going to just kind of develop on its own Okay, a few more to do. Keep going.
And trees take practice. Just kind of like learn to look at trees and you'll see how they kind of move, how they grow, how the snow kind of falls on them. Branches usually get a little bit heavier once you start adding some snow. So they kind of like sag a little bit more, kind of fall down. You notice I'm always kind of like moving my brush in towards the center. Like this is the center line. So I'm kind of like always moving from like the right hand side towards the middle or like the left hand side towards the middle. All right, that looks all right. Maybe. This guy has a little bit more lumpy tree. I got a little bit more paint on my brush this time. So maybe he's a little bit more lumpy. All right, last but not least, got this guy. All right, that's pretty good. Okay. So that should give uh, this all enough time to dry. All right, so we are gonna move on to kind of like blocking in our gnome. So we are gonna need some yellow paint. We are gonna make some green. And I didn't put a lot out. Okay, so we are going to start, we're gonna make a triangle for the base of uh, his body, kind of like his cloak. And I'm gonna put a little bit of red out already because we need to kind of like, oh, that's a lot, um, work on his hat as well. So for green, we're gonna mix a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow, maybe a bit more yellow. Want like that elementary school, the, kin, the teacher told you this was the color green. It was kind of like the basic, primary green color up on the wall, maybe a bit more yellow in there. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I would say it's about equal parts, pretty close. All right, so we're gonna do a triangle, but he also has a little bit of um, a little hand kind of peeking out because he's kind of like pulling it behind. So I kind of wanna make sure that his cloak is about the same ground level as as the little sled here okay and then we're going to just kind of like make it the camera's in the way here so i'm trying to see past the camera here Okay, and then probably about here. Fill that in.
Okay, so I just went back over that again. And now I'm gonna kind of just make a little spot where his hand is kind of like pulling back. So it's just like a straight line from about there to there, and then just kind of flatten it on the end. So like that. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so now we're gonna do his hat. Now from his hat to his head, we don't really see anything but his nose and his beard. So just keep in mind that if he didn't get his cloak perfectly good on the um, front side of it, that is okay. We'll cover that part up. Um, we also have a forward hand that's coming out, but we're not, we're not gonna worry about that at the moment. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of brown into that red, I just want a little darker red color. All right, now it's a triangle as well. So it's going to go like that. Like that, I might need some white paint to kind of like fill this part in. Wasn't planning for that tree to be there. Okay. Just to make this a little bit better down there. And then we're going to give it a little bit of a swoop. So there's his hat. And then there's a little swoop. I'm gonna add just a little bit of white into this color just because that um, the tree is showing up underneath. If you don't have your tree there and it is showing up fine, I wouldn't do that part. I'm gonna go over top of that with uh, that red again, but I kind of need to cover that part up. So we'll just kind of Fill that in, and uh, same thing like we did with the moon, I'll just come back to it. Okay. Now, we're going to do his cane. So we gotta let, the fun, the fun part about everything that we do is we literally have to wait for everything to dry. Um, actually, let's go back to our Christmas tree because we have this green color out. I'm gonna get this green a little bit darker. So I'm gonna put some more blue into it, a little bit more yellow into it. I'm gonna throw a little bit of brown into it. Yeah, that's better. See how that's a really, really dark green now? That's perfect. Okay, so um if this is the tree it's um the head of the tree is here so i'm going to kind of take my brush and you see how i'm just kind of making like little swoops kind of like a quick little flick And we're just gonna kind of flick and make it look like we've got these little tree branches kind of coming off of our Christmas tree. Something like that. We'll come back and we'll touch it up in a minute, but that's looking pretty good. Okay. And since we have this darker green, Let's add a little darker green in between our arms here. And let's just add a little darker green down in here. This is where his beard's gonna go. 
So this is all kind of like planning for it. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this brighter color, just kind of blend it in a little bit. Just wanted to make it look like we've got fabric, not so starchy. Okay. Now we're going to make our little Christmas lantern rod here. Going with that darker brown again. So same thing as we did with the, the sled, we're just going to do that with our little rod here. Now, it, only, it comes to up about his nose. So I'm gonna say about here. Nice and slow. Okay, so I'd say that's pretty good. And then again, we're going to do the little hook, the little C. All right, perfect. Okay. Let's really let that dry. And then again, this is all about planning, right? We're all in the planning stages. We're gonna add a little square yellow. So we're gonna take some of our white and some of our yellow. We're gonna add a little yellow square of it right here. This is planning for our lantern. It's just that nice little square yellow and just let it be. Let's just let that happen. Okay. All right, so now let's add his nose in here. So see how we have like this red and this white and it's really light pink. Add a little bit more white to it. And let's just give him a little nose right. Kind of comes out of his nose right here. Give him a nose. Add a little bit more white into it just so it shows up a little bit more. There we go. All right, now, <laughs> he's looking so cute already. Now we're going to take just white paint, and it's, again, okay if there's a little bit of blue mixed into it. And we're going to add his, like, little floofy beard. Might have to go back over his nose again, just so you know. You can get a little poofy with the paint this time. Make sure you're hitting that shadow. At least getting it by that shadow color. Maybe let's make his nose a little bit more pink so it shows up. Okay. 
There we go. And now we're going to go back, or actually with that same color, since we have that same color out, let's give it a little hand here. So it's just a little half circle. Okay, and then we're going to do one more hand. Hopefully this is dry. This is a half circle coming around this little lantern here. Okay. Going back over his hand here a little bit, just so you can see a little bit better. There we go. All right, now we need to add that sleeve, the orange green sleeve, back from here to here. So a little finessing. This is where if you need to do any touch-ups, that is okay. Perfect. Okay, so we only have a few more things left to do. Um, we're going to touch up that a little bit. We have some finishing details in the lantern, and then we have our um, decorations on our tree. Um, so let's just go and get some pre-planning done for our ornaments. So we're going to clean a brush out really, really well. Thought that was clean, but I guess it was not. Pick up some white. And you can go into the yellow a little bit. And we're going to just add some Christmas ornaments here. So I'm going to add a little yellow ball. It's got white in it for now because we're going to go over top of it with uh, the brighter yellow after. We don't know where he is going with this tree. Maybe home, maybe to the North Pole. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we're gonna let those kind of do their thing for a minute. Okay, now I'm gonna take my liner brush and I'm gonna get this dark brown, black, maybe maybe a dark, 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 dark brown, black color. Okay, so we're gonna work on this lantern a little bit. Um, okay, I'm just basically gonna make a box. So let's make a box. One on the top is going to be longer. The one on the bottom can be shorter. And then I'm going to just kind of make a little angle like that. And then I'm just going to do a line down the middle. And then just do a little just to make it look like there's like some sort of connection between the two. Just cleaning up this line right there. Okay. Let's go back in and put that red in his hat. Let's pick up some red paint. Gonna make his hat pop now. So we're gonna kind of back in here
Okay. Just gonna take a little bit of red or blue paint and mix it into this red. I want like kind of like a dark purple. And then I'm just gonna take this dark purple and kind of put that right on the bottom part of his hat on this side. Perfect. So it kind of looks like he's got a little bit more dimension into that hat. Now let's pick up some white paint. Let's give him a little poof ball on the end of it. There's a little poof ball. All right, now let's color in these ornaments. Okay, there's the red, there's some yellow. And then the blue. I'm actually going to maybe add a little bit of white into that one. It's a little bit too, too bright of a color. All right. And I, oh, he's missing his little strings. Let's give him some strings. Um, the sled to his hand. So we're gonna just tie it to here. So it's from here to here. So make sure you have a little bit more water in that paint because we gotta do a nice thin long line. So just kind of make a note where you gotta go. Okay, so we wanna go from here to here. All right, that is it. That is the painting. It's super easy, super basic, but you get like a really fun little gnome uh, to hang out with you during the Christmas holidays. So I'm gonna flip you guys over for a quick brief second. All right, I just wanted to say thank you everybody for hanging out with me. Um, this was like our fourth episode. If you enjoyed doing them, um, let me know and I will continue doing them. Um, I might do some more advanced classes. So if you have any suggestions for classes that you would like to learn, I'd like to hear from you and I can see if I can work that into uh, a class for you. Um, please head over to maggiemilo.com and you can check out any of the new classes that I have available. And I will also be sharing the next lesson that I have available for you guys over there as well. Um, I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I wish all your family the best in 2023. And I can't believe that's it for this year. Um, you guys have a great one and I will see you soon. Peace out.